All right, it's Black Friday, so you know it's another video. This one's gonna be specifically on how I edit eyes. I've had a couple people ask me questions. They wanna learn my technique or what I do to get these eyes to pop. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. So right now this is unedited in the eyes, uh, except the, um, the white part of the eyes that already has some edits on there, but I'll show you how to do everything right now. So you're gonna go from that to something like this. All right, once it finishes downloading, all right, there we go. And when you zoom out, see how you get more detail compared to how it was before. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. I'm gonna delete the uh, the white one as well. All right, so if you don't have Capture One and you're using Lightroom, uh, this is gonna be your brush tools, basically, in Lightroom. This is a little bit different. These are called local adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer, call it uh, Pupil. And then I think that's how you spell it. So after that, select the brush tool. So we have the tool here. And what I do is I just, you know, randomly just add everything here. Saturation a little more than that. Shadows, we want to bring them up. And then we're going to press the uh, Z tool to bring the zoom. And then we're going to try to focus just on the eyes itself. Press B for brush. And now just kind of trace uh, the inside. It doesn't matter if you go out. You just want to make sure you grab the... The outside of it and then you want to leave the black part in the middle of the eye you want to leave it alone all right and then notice like here how it um let's see notice how here on the outside you have some of the white we're going to go ahead and fix that later let's go ahead and finish this other eye you want to make sure you trace it exactly how it is All right, so once you have that, this one's really bad. So you're gonna press E for the eraser tool. And if you notice, there's a there's two rings. The one in the center is gonna be the main ring. That's, whatever's inside there is gonna get affected. The outer ring is gonna be the feathering. So it's gonna be uh, less of an effect. What I usually do is bring out the feather until it barely touches it. And then you're gonna see it's gonna start disappearing. And you kinda wanna do that all the way around. Right, and then if it does like here kind of removed it a bit you just go back press the brush tool and then go back in there and color it all right we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye e for the eraser tool and then go in and touch that up all right so now that we have that you can go ahead and zoom out just a little bit all right, so then from here is where you're gonna play around with it. You can, you know, if you, I usually bring the saturation up just so it pops out a little bit more. Do like that. And then all of these are, you know, everything's just me guessing what will look good or what, you know, so it's up to you what you want uh, it to look. You don't want it to be too fake or too obvious that you edit it. Uh, if you bring up the contrast, it'll make it darker like that so we'll go ahead and bring it down that was too dark 96 this might be a little bit too high we'll bring it down to 50 the shadows will bring them up to like 20 all right and then that should be good you can mess with the uh, tint up here so if you want like your model to have blue eyes you can go ahead and give her blue eyes but we're gonna go ahead and see what we can get here I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit. All right, then we can zoom out all the way. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and also color in the white part of the eye so that it pops up. So we're gonna do another layer. We're gonna call this uh, just white, I don't know. Okay, so white, uh, nope, not another layer. Let's delete that. And then from here, we're gonna select the brush tool again. All right, and this one for the eye, what I do is just bring the saturation down and then bring the shadows up. Again, Z to bring up the zoom tool. I'm gonna to zoom in here. All right, and the same thing, you're just gonna color in the white part of the eye. Right. 
same on the other eye. This thing is kind of laggy because I'm doing a screen recording and it's trying to process this image. So it's like, I don't know, it's buggy. All right, so once you do that, it'll color it in and then I'll show you the before and after. So before you kind of got some, uh, the, the white wasn't as popping and it has like some blue tint to it. So we're gonna turn it back on. It's gonna be uh, a little bit desaturated and it's gonna be brighter. So we zoom out and now we get that final product. So you went from, let me go ahead and remove both of them. So you can see the difference of the original image. So, you know, it just gives it something, it makes it look a little bit more exciting is what I think. And then this is with it on. And then while we're on the subject of the face, another thing that I like to do while I'm editing is I'll do another adjustment layer here call it lips and then the saturation is just bring it up we'll make the tool a little bit bigger all right that's probably too big all right so then you just kind of trace the lips And if you press the M on Capture One, it'll bring out the mask so you can see where you're coloring. So once you wanna make sure you cover every single part of the lip. Press M again to remove it, and then you can kind of see the before and after on the lips. Let me go ahead and uncheck this here. So that's before, we'll go ahead and zoom out. And then after, it just gives it a little bit more color. Nothing major, you don't have to do it. It's just something that I've come accustomed to doing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You do the, the inside of the eye, just make sure you skip the black part in the middle. And then you color in the white part by desaturating it and bringing up the shadows. And that's the look you should get. All right, then that's pretty much it. And like always, if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below or send me a message on my Instagram. The pictures from this set are going to be dropped throughout the week. And if you want to see the final results, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Black Ranger. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next week.